This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz, winter edition of 2020. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. It is certainly a pleasure that you're joining us, and we are so happy to be bringing you two games here. We have in our first game, New Bremen High School taking on Lima Senior, and in our second game, you're going to see Columbus Grove face off against Riverdale. We want to introduce you to our players joining us now from New Bremen. We have Eli Schmidtmeyer. Stella Fear, Will Olberding, and Cheyenne Bertke. And New Bremen is coached by Teresa Newbright. Welcome to all of you. All right, Lima Senior, this is your first year. I'm so glad that you're joining us. And let's introduce all of you to our viewers at home. We have Xylan Payne Greenon, Greenon, right? Greeno, sorry. All right, Seth Jones, Tatiana Gostin, and Ryan Utendorf. All right, Lima Seniors coached by Tom Ellenwood and Angel Cowan. Xylan, I apologize for that. All right, all right, is everybody ready? Okay, we have 10 questions in this first round. They are worth 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready. And when you buzz in, please make sure that you speak up as loudly as you can. I know it's uncomfortable, but we want to make sure that our viewers at home can hear you, as well as our judge who is sitting over there, Mark Dickman. And then also make sure that you can be as complete as you can be with your answers. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Which city is known as the city that never sleeps? Yes. New that Orleans. New Orleans is incorrect. So Lima Senior, you've got a chance with this. Um, New York. Um, New, New York. York. New York City. Yes. All New right. City. Very good. All right. Question number two. What is the day after Thanksgiving typically called? Yes, Lima Senior. Black Friday. Black Friday is correct. Moving on. Number three. What shape is a stop sign? Yes, Lima Senior. Octagon. Octagon is correct. What does PTSD stand for? Lima Senior. Post-traumatic stress disorder. You are correct. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Question number five in our first round. In which city and state is the prestigious Masters Golf Tournament held? No answer there? All right, the answer is Augusta, Georgia. All right, moving on, question number six. What slows your fall when you jump from an airplane? Yes, that would be New Bremen. A parachute. Parachute, all right, very good. What are the three athletic activities in a triathlon? Yes, New Bremen. Bicycling, swimming, and running. You are correct. Swimming, biking, and running. All right, moving on now. Question number eight in our first round. Lawrence and Wichita are major cities in which state? Yes, Lima Senior. Kansas. Kansas is correct. The altitude of mountains are measured as heights above what? Yes, Lima Senior. Sea level. Sea level is the answer. And our final question in this first round. Who was the first U.S. president to use Twitter? Yes, Lima Senior. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is incorrect. New Bremen. Barack Obama. Barack Obama is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round, and it was a good one. We have a score now. New Bremen with 30 points. Lima Senior with 60. We'll be back with our final two rounds after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal.
All right, welcome back everyone. We are moving into our second and third rounds here in our game between Lima Senior and New Bremen High School. Here's the score, Lima Senior with 60 points, New Bremen with 30. That means in the second round, Lima Senior, you're going to lead it. You're going to have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but make sure you buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, question number one. Which fairy tale figure is oppressed by a wicked stepmother but marries a prince? Yes. Cinderella. Cinderella is correct. Question two. How many keys does a piano have? Yes. 52. 52 is incorrect. The number is 88. Oh, okay. All right. Question number three. What word beginning with the letter C designates goods illegally smuggled into a country or area where prohibited? Yes. Contraband. Contraband is correct. On which street was the New York Stock Exchange established in 1792? Yes. Wall Street. Wall Street is the correct answer. And here's your final question in the second round. In diameter, what is the largest spider in the world? Yes. A tarantula. A tarantula is incorrect. The answer is the giant huntsman. All right. Don't want to see that one. All right. Turning now to New Bremen. Is everybody ready over here? Again, make sure you buzz in with your answers, OK? OK. By m body mass, what is the largest spider in the world? Yes. Tarantula. Tarantula is incorrect. It is actually the Goliath bird eater. Yes, that is the truth. OK, <laughs> moving on. Question number two. In which sport does a team win the prestigious Ryder Cup? Time is up. The answer is golf. All right, moving on, question three. Mobile is a port city in which state? Yes. Alabama. Alabama is correct. What nocturnal beetles are seen during the summer? Yes. Fireflies. Fireflies is the answer, very good. And your final question in the second round. Name the woodwind instrument whose single reed is one piece of cane fastened to the mouthpiece by a metal clip. Yes. Clarinet. Clarinet is correct. Good. All right. We've come to the end now of our second round. And here is the score. New Bremen, you have 45 points. Lima Senior with 75. We're moving now into the final round of 10 questions with 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs, so get the buzzers ready. And here we go. What is the Spanish word for yellow? Yes, New Bremen. Amarillo. You are correct, Amarillo. In what state is the Mall of America located? Yes, Lima Senior. Minnesota. Minnesota is correct. Question three. Name the compact signed by 41 pilgrims aboard a ship anchored, yes, that would be New Bremen. Mayflower Compact. The Mayflower Compact is the answer. All right, moving on now to number four. Name the type of rock formed from the two other major kinds of rock by extreme heat. Yes, that would be Lima Senior. Metamorphic. Metamorphic is correct. What name identifies the ceremony to mark a boy's entry into adulthood in the Jewish religion? Yes, New Bremen. About mitzvah. That is correct. Identify the president whose administration was labeled the Fair Deal Administration. New Bremen. Carter. Carter is incorrect. Lima Senior, you want to try it. Oh. All right, time is up. The answer is Harry S. Truman. All right, question seven. What is the term for a young deer? Yes, Lima Senior. A doe. A doe is incorrect. New Bremen? A fawn. Fawn is the answer. All right, question eight. 
<coughs> what disorder is characterized by sudden bouts of deep sleep? Yes, Lima Senior. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is correct. Okay, we have two questions remaining in this game. Here's the score. New Bremen, you have 85 points. Lima Senior, 105. Identify the fundamental particle that carries no electrical charge. Yes, Lima Senior. Neutron. Neutron is the answer. And your final question in this game. What color is associated with the Wicked Witch in CS? Yes, that would be New Bremen. Green. Green is incorrect. Lima Senior, you want to try it? Yes. White. White is the answer. Okay, we come to the end of a very tightly played game, and here is our final score. New Bremen, 85 points. Lima Senior, 125. So congratulations, you're going to be moving on in competition. New Bremen, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be back with our second game right after the break. Stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. And welcome back, everyone. We just wrapped up a game between New Bremen and Lima Senior. Lima Senior's very first time here on Wiz Quiz, and they came out the winner. So Lima Senior will be moving on in competition. They'll take on the winner of this game now, being played between Columbus Grove and Riverdale. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Columbus Grove. We have Carver Hawker, Joey Edelbrock, Cassie Heilman, and Will Nussbaum. And Columbus Grove is coached by Nancy Shortgen. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Riverdale. We have Johanna Thacker, Benjamin Borkowski, Aaron Lees, and David Borkowski. Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome to all of you. Okay, you guys, we have 10 questions in this first round. We're 10 points apiece. Make sure you get the buzzers ready. Answer as loudly as you can and make your answers as complete as possible and we should be good to go. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Which term designates the science of sound or the sound properties of a concert hall? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Acoustics. Acoustics is correct. Question number two in the first round. What term designates a narrow band of fast moving air currents found at, yes, that would be Riverdale? Wind. Wind is incorrect. Columbus Grove, would you like me to complete the question? All right. What term designates a narrow band of fast moving air currents found at altitudes of 10 to 15 miles? Yes. Jet stream. Jet stream is correct. Name Vietnam's capital city. Yes, Riverdale. Hanoi. Hanoi is correct. Question number four. Name the two presidents whose birthdays are observed on the third Monday in February. Yes, Riverdale. George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, you are correct. Number five, what is the six letter spending plan that is based upon your income? Yes, Riverdale. Budget. Budget is the answer. How many bones does a giraffe have in its neck? Riverdale. One. One is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you wanna try it? Yes. 11. 11, also incorrect, seven is the answer. All right, question seven, what is the capital city of the fictional land of Oz? Yes, Riverdale. The Emerald City. The Emerald City is correct. What is the national animal of Scotland? Yes, that would be Riverdale. The lion. The lion is incorrect. You wanna try it, Columbus Grove? Yes. Mountain goat. 
Mountain goat also incorrect. The unicorn is the answer. All right, two questions remaining here in the first round. Which Revolutionary War general became America's most infamous traitor? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Benedict Arnold. Benedict Arnold is correct. And question 10, the final question in this first round. Name the compromise in 1820 that allowed Missouri to join the Union. Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. The Missouri Compromise. The Missouri Compromise is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our first round here in our game between Columbus Grove and Riverdale. The score right now, Columbus Grove, 20 points. Riverdale, you have 60. That means you are going to lead this second round with worth five points apiece for each question. All right, you've got five questions. Please buzz in with your answers. Name Canada's most western province. Yes. British Columbia. British Columbia is correct. Name the hurricane that slammed into the Gulf Coast near New Orleans in 2005. Yes. Katrina. Katrina is the answer. What element is added to a pool that may give your blonde hair a greenish tint? Yes. Chlorine. Chlorine is correct. Name the author of the work The Lord of the Rings. Yes. Tolkien. Tolkien is correct. And your final question in the second round. What term beginning with the letter B designates a person devoted to reading or studying? Yes. Bibliophile. Bibliophile is incorrect. Bookworm is what we're looking for. All right, moving over to Columbus Grove now. Everybody set here? Okay, again, please make sure that you buzz in with your answers. Osteology is the study of what body part? Yes. Bones. Bones is the answer. Identify the only U.S. state that borders the Yukon Territory. Yes. Alaska. Alaska is correct. Question three. Name the toxic substance whose chemical symbol is CO. Yes. Cobalt. That is incorrect. Carbon monoxide oh, is the answer. Oh, okay. All right, question four in the second round. What are first class stamps also called? Yes. Priority. Priority is incorrect. They're called forever stamps. All right, you have one question remaining in the second round. What name is given to original inhabitants of Australia? Nope, time is up. The answer, Aborigines. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds in this game. We're going to take a short break and we'll be back with the final round after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we are moving into our final round of competition now between Columbus Grove and Riverdale. The score right now, Columbus Grove, you have 30 points. Riverdale with 80. We are moving into the final round of 10 questions with 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready. And here we go, question number one. Give the real name of Johnny Appleseed, who is known for planting apple trees. Yes, that would be Riverdale. John Chapman. John Chapman is correct. What two blood components other than white blood cells are produced in the bone marrow? Yes, Riverdale. Red blood cell and plasma. That is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? Yes. Would it be red blood cells and hemoglobin? That is also incorrect. It's red blood cells and platelets. 
All right, question three. Which grim fairy tale has siblings coming across a house? Yes, Riverdale? Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel is correct. What is a story that teaches a moral? Yes, Columbus Grove. A fable. A fable is correct. Number five in this final round. Name the agreement under which the 13 original colonies established a government of states. Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. The Articles of Confederation. The Articles of Confederation is the answer. Good, all right. Question six. Name the only Canadian province whose name begins and ends in an A. Yes, Riverdale. Alberta. Alberta is correct. Moving on, number seven. Which dome-shaped muscle is the chief muscle used in breathing? Yes. Diaphragm. Diaphragm is correct. Question eight. What is the longest bone in the human body? Yes, Riverdale. Femur. Femur is correct. Okay, you have two questions remaining in your game. Alphabetically, which is the first of the noble gases? Yes, Columbus Grove. Argon. Argon is correct. And your final question in your game. Identify the instrument that is the base of the oboe family. Yes, that would be Riverdale. Bassoon. Bassoon is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of our game with Riverdale and Columbus Grove. Here's the final score. Columbus Grove, 70 points. Riverdale, you won with 130 points. Congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. And Columbus Grove, we want to thank you as always for joining us. Thanks for watching at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.